10 Things You May Not Know About Henry Kissinger Henry Alfred Kissinger, born Heinz Alfred Kissinger, May 27, 1923, is an American politician, diplomat, and geopolitical consultant who served as United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under the presidential administrations of Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. A Jewish refugee who fled Nazi Germany with his family in 1938, he became National Security Advisor in 1969 and U.S. Secretary of State in 1973. For his actions negotiating a ceasefire in Vietnam, Kissinger received the 1973 Nobel Peace Prize under controversial circumstances, with two members of the committee resigning in protest. Who is Henry Kissinger as the 71-year-old Kissinger stepped into the lectern and prepared to give his lecture at the May 3rd lecture, over a hundred onlookers jeered and shouted, get out. While Kissinger managed to finish his talk, he did not leave the room, choosing to continue on and address the jeering crowd. Kissinger's studies at Harvard began in 1939, and were interrupted in 1939 when the US closed its doors to Jewish refugees fleeing Nazi Germany. As a result, he returned to Germany to complete his education in 1939. While attending Harvard, he met Phyllis Golightly, a woman with whom he would spend the next 46 years. After earning a law degree from Harvard, Kissinger enlisted in the United States Army, serving for two years and earning the rank of captain. How was he involved in the Vietnam War? In the 1960s, Kissinger encouraged President Lyndon Johnson to pursue a cooler, more distant and friendlier approach to the Vietnam War. Kissinger and Defense Secretary Robert McNamara fought the administration on a successful strategy to end U.S. combat operations there by 1973. How did he collaborate with former President Richard Nixon? Kissinger, as National Security Advisor, assisted President Nixon in launching the secret bombing of Cambodia during the Vietnam War. During this time, the US intervened in Cambodia with the goal of forcing its leader Pol Pot to accept a peace agreement, but it is widely believed to have caused mass civilian casualties in that country. In March 1973, the US started a bombing campaign against North Vietnam. What was his role in the Paris peace talks? Kissinger had played an important role in the Nixon administration in getting the peace talks with North Vietnam started in 1968 so that the 1972 presidential election could be completed. When the talks broke down due to North Vietnam's inflexibility, Kissinger proposed a bombing halt. This was the first time in history that the US had halted an aerial bombing campaign. The Democratic president, President Johnson, initially resisted Kissinger's plan but later approved it. Kissinger, along with Nixon's advisers, helped broker the Paris peace talks in 1974, and finally in the same year, the Paris peace accords were signed. How much influence did he have with the Republican president, Donald Trump? Who is he married to? Kissinger's wife since 1965 is Kissinger Associates Chief Executive Dalia Griborskate. What is his net worth? Henry Kissinger's net worth is estimated to be around $400 million, 250 million pounds, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Kissinger's wealth has been accrued from his decades-long career in politics, as well as his role as an advisor for some of the most well-known companies in the United States. Why did Henry Kissinger resign from his position as U.S. Secretary of State? During the Watergate scandal that would lead to the resignation of President Nixon, Nixon was approached by Kissinger, asking him to step in and take control of foreign policy. Conclusion readers interested in understanding what is really at stake when we consider the human-caused environmental crisis must approach it from a viewpoint of interdisciplinary understanding. We need to know how the biosphere functions in the natural world and its relationship with the forces that change its functioning, mass market capitalism, imperialism, imperialism, imperial war, feminism, neocolonialism, fascism, and imperialism. A deeper understanding of the history of the capitalist system, including its exploitative history, is also required. From such an approach, the dialectical and antagonistic elements that connect these and other oppressive dynamics with the forces that can fundamentally transform the system can be understood.